I believe that curiosity is one of the most potent tools we have as a human species. And the problem I see in the world is that I don't think we actually value it that much. I wanted to create a space where people could ask questions freely and not be constrained by discipline or specific applications, but rather I wanted to foster their curiosity. In the Pelling Lab, we bring together scientists and engineers and artists to curate this diversity of perspective. And it's really that mixing of ideas that leads to some of the most interesting questions. One of the students was eating an apple one day, and he had the idea that maybe he could peel the apple and then grow human cells onto the flesh. We start with an apple, we carve it into the shape of a human ear, and what you're left with is a scaffold. It's kind of like a sponge, and into the sponge we can inject cells, or we can take that sponge and actually implant it into the body. The body then sends in blood vessels and supporting cells. It becomes literally a living tissue inside the body. We quite literally discovered that you could carve an apple into the shape of a human ear, and this thing would become flesh. And we're now working with doctors and clinicians to explore how they can be used to help people with paralysis, bone diseases, or even reconstructing faces that have been traumatized in an accident. In the early days, I would present this work. I remember clearly people sitting in the audience laughing at me. I had never experienced this before because the idea was just crazy. Or at least it was crazy until we did it and showed the world that in fact, there's something really important here. It can be quite scary to follow your own curiosity, especially when that idea is unconventional. What I'm trying to do is really lead by example. You can learn lessons by pursuing your curiosity. I want to show the world that it can be done.